Hey, what's everybody? It's time for another comic book review, and this comic book review is brought to you by uh, my good friend Clever Presents. He wanted me to review Batman 28, and it is a flash forward issue into what is the upcoming Batman Eternal. We started off with Harper Row, and she is in a very different Gotham City. It's locked down, there's apparently some sort of disease going on, and uh, there's a curfew for 8 o'clock. So she goes and she says a password to the police officers and she is taken into this fantastic looking bar, casino type thing. And apparently there's a new kingpin in Gotham. Kin kingpin in Gotham who controls basically everything. There's been some kingpins like the like Harvey Dent and uh, Penguin, but there's never been someone who controls everything. This person probably controls everything. So Harper Rowe is attacked because apparently her the, the password she gave was like three days old and they only brought her because the person uh, said to bring her and they're about to beat the shit out of her and she takes out the lights and Bruce comes as Batman and beats the shit out of them all and we get a glimpse at someone in the Batcave who is doing all the stuff for Batman and the, it appears to be a woman as well and we continue on, we get an interaction between Harper Rowe and Batman, and apparently Batman, uh, she does not know that Bruce is Batman. She, she just doesn't care. Doesn't care. She just wants to be with Batman and be like that. So we get a glimpse at what Harper Rowe is going to be. Everyone f flipping out, They're like, oh my god, she's Nightwing, it's going to sell the name of Nightwing. She's wearing blue. Her name is Bluebird, not Nightwing, her own character, so bugger off, you complaining sons of bitches. So, she has guns. She has taser guns, apparently. Harper and her Batman have some cool ninja skill going on, some teamwork, and they proceed to beat the shit out of all of them, and she tasers this one, tasers a bunch of them with her taser guns, and we get, we find out who the kingpin of Cat, and it is Catwoman. She has become the kingpin of Gotham, and she has some talks to Bruce or Batman. She calls him Batman. She doesn't call him Bruce, even though she doesn't like him. She's not going to reveal that identity to people. So there's apparently a there's something happened between them. They're falling out, and she apparently was almost dead, and he didn't didn't help her. And Harper holds a gun to her and says, "Let go." And there's like a good thing saying how uh, they know she has someone and they want to talk to them and our final panel is this and I wouldn't have known who this is if I didn't know that our me was blowing his load over this this person is called spoiler and it is Stephanie Brown I believe the second Batgirl so we get that glimpse into Batman Eternal uh, yeah uh, this actually made me want to read Batman Eternal. I was kind of on the fence because I know it's a weekly series and I don't know if I want to buy it, but this makes me want to read it. I actually enjoyed Harper Row as Bluebird and I like her guns. It's just, I'm interested in like that. And I'm excited to find out who is in the Batcave. Someone else is going to find out who Batman is. And, and I'm excited to see, read Stephanie Brown because I've actually never read Stephanie Brown. So new character for me anyway. And yeah, I would give this comic a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't anything spectacular, but gave me, it made me want to read. So yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to go subscribe to the Clever Presents. Link will be over there. And if you want me to review anything from my comic, comic book haul list, that link will be over there as well. And yeah, that's about it. I'm the Comic Addict, and I'm signing off.